my wife and I are going on a trip to America. I'm hoping to do a vlog when I'm over there to show you a little bit more about the places and also just to test my abilities on the road. With my new gear, we got a little Osmo pocket for our adventure. We'll see how that goes. I love that it shoots in 4K at 60 frames. Though we're going to be using 4K at 50 frames because it has face recognition at that. Unfortunately, it doesn't do it at 60 frames, but it works at 50 frames. We're going to be doing some awesome time lapses. And I guess it's going to be an awesome trip. I'm going to run you through where we're going and we'll go from there. So to start our trip, we're going to be flying into LA from Sydney. We're flying with Qantas. I usually fly with Virgin, but this one time I decided to go with Qantas because we had some points ready to go. So we just threw them across and it probably was about one of our trips over there uh, was covered by points, which is really good. When we get into LA, we're staying down near Anaheim because we're going to do three days down at Disneyland. I'm looking forward to doing three days at Disneyland. I think it might be a bit too much, but when we get there, I'll, I'll probably get in the swing of things. Now that Galaxy's Edge is there, Star Wars, I'll probably be able to do a whole week, but we need to be able to spread out our trip. So it's not going to happen. But that's cool, we'll do three days. After we're in Anaheim, we're going down to San Diego for Comic-Con. Uh, we're gonna drop in and see if we can film there. We put in a request to do a documentary um, with my business, but we'll see what happens. I haven't heard anything back from them. I put the application in back in November and they said wait five to eight weeks. And I just got an email this morning at three o'clock saying that they've got the, our requests and it's still being reviewed at the moment. So let's, we'll see what happens. Who knows, if we get into Comic-Con then sweet. If we don't, we might just go around the city anyway and check out the sites and check out um, the Midway there and all those sort of things that come down in San Diego. After San Diego, we're going up to LA again. And the next morning we're flying up to Chicago and then driving up to Oshkosh. In Oshkosh is the Oshkosh Air Venture um, Air Show that's going for the whole week. We're just going for the Tuesday and Wednesday, hoping to make it up there for the Monday night because the Frey are playing. I don't know if we'll be able to get it there. Apparently it's a solo three hour drive. By the time we get our car, who knows? My wife loves the Frey, so we'd love to get up there and be able to make that. I think they're playing at 7.30. Uh, here's the Facebook page for Oshkosh. Um, check him out. I'll let you know what it's like when we get there, I guess. We'll be doing some vlogs. I, uh, as you might not know, have my private pilot's license, so I love aeroplanes. Uh, my favorite part of a holiday is going on the planes. It's sad when you're leaving, but I love the plane trip on any holiday. So this is gonna be amazing. Apparently there are a bazillion planes flying and coming in and going from Oshkosh So I'm looking forward to seeing what that actually looks like. We're staying just south of Oshkosh in Brandon um, So it's about a half an hour drive up to Oshkosh and we'll see all the planes flying over uh, through Ripon which is one of the inbound points uh, for the south west coming into Oshkosh. So that's gonna be amazing After Oshkosh, we're gonna be there for three days we're going down across Chicago all the way to Sandusky, Ohio for Cedar Point theme park. Something like 18 roller coasters. It's it's gonna be intense. We're staying on the site there and I just, I love theme parks. It's gonna be amazing to check out all the crazy roller coasters. After that, we're going across the border via um, Niagara Falls, across the border to Toronto, then flying over to Montreal. Now we're going to somewhere called Mont Tremblant, which is just north of Montreal. We're checking it out and I think it's gonna be cool. It's got this night walk, which I'm gonna bring up here and down in the links below. That looks so cool. And I reckon it's gonna be something like Brother Bear. After Montreal, we're driving down to New York, where we're gonna stay with my auntie and uncle who are living there at the moment. We're gonna be there for a week. Then after that, we're flying across to San Francisco where uh, we're going to go to Alcatraz. And then from Alcatraz, we're driving across to Yosemite where we're staying two nights in one of the lodges there. I'm not too keen on Yosemite. Like I love the look of Yosemite, but the bears are, they're not freaking me out, but I just want to make sure that we don't get caught up in a situation that will not be that good. My sister-in-law has recommended not to leave any food in the car, like not even anything that could smell, which is probably a good hint and I'm gonna take that and run with it because I don't want anything to happen. 
So then after Yosemite, we've got one night left that I'm not sure where to stay. Uh, we'll, who knows, just sort of suss it out. I might ch I'm checking on Airbnb and we might find somewhere. We might not be staying somewhere near Hollywood or um, who knows. So once we've done that, then that next day we're flying out with um, from Los Angeles airport with Qantas again. And seriously, I cannot wait. It's going to be sick. Check out all the places we're going. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. If you have any tips or tricks, shoot them through. I'd love to hear about your story. We'll see you next time. So you That's a two thumbs up, by the way. Just